Hello guys and welcome to a new tutorial of my how to series. Today I'm going to be talking about webhooks for Discord, uh, especially for Twitter in this case. Um, so what you will need is obviously a Discord account, a Discord server, a Zapier account and a Twitter account where you get all the tweets from that are sent to Discord straight away. Uh, so what you want to do is uh, go to your server settings, go to your webhooks, and uh, I'm quickly going to delete this, sorry, and I'm going to hit create webhook, and once you've got that, you want to select which channel it should post the uh, Twitter tweets, and um, you can call it whatever you want, I'm going to call it Twitter handle. And you will need the webhook URL in a second, and we're gonna fetch that in a second uh, for Zapier. Um, what you're gonna do is go to your browser next. So what you want to do in your browser is hit up the page www.zapier.com and sign up if you don't already have an account. And what you want to do next is hit make a zap this should take a couple of seconds and you're there and um, what you want to do is if you don't have Twitter up there yet you can search it and hit Twitter what you want to do next is go to my tweets save and continue so it's probably gonna look different with you guys because I already have a Twitter account connected but uh, I've already signed in with the Trility account uh, if you don't know Trility, it's my gaming network, um, pretty much, and uh, if you want to join, you feel free to join, whatever. Uh, but let's go back to the tutorial, and I'm going to hit connect a new account. And if you don't want uh, product updates and announcements from uh, Zapier, what you want to do is go to no, and hit yes, continue, and authorize app. So once you have that, that should be okay. And you can test it. I will be testing and say success. And once you're done with that, what you want to do is save and continue. So um, things you can double check is make sure you have at least one tweet created. So you have to have a tweet already. Um, I already have that, uh, I can show you, just to clarify that our website's going to look gorgeous, it's there, and what we can do next is hit fetch and continue, test was successful, and we can continue again. So what you want to do next is go down to built-in apps and find webhooks, click on the webhook and select post save and continue and what you'll have to do next is go to discord go back to discord and you go to your server settings again go to your webhooks go to your bot or webhook and just quickly renaming it sorry uh, you can copy this by clicking on this little uh, icon and uh, I'll do that. I'm going to quickly save this and finish this up. And you want to add the URL of this here. Next thing you want to do is go, ta go down to JSON as the payload type. Go down to data and uh, type username uh, here and it will search for certain things and you could you can uh, certain uh, options and you can just take the username then add another line go uh, and type content uh, you can type whatever text you want to have here so pretty much new tweet tweet hit enter and then click the plus um, sign again and search for text so 
so this will show the text uh, you can also see the text of my uh, recent tweet and uh, you can type view uh, tweet here so it will output a URL to the tweet and just hit that and we can add another last line which is going to be the avatar 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 URL and just click on the plus button here and uh, select use profile image URL and that should appear just fine so we can skip the rest here and go to headers and what we have to type here is content dash type and then uh, type application slash JSON and once we've got that done we can hit continue and this seems to be set up uh, from this point on don't forget your content type should be application slash JSON um, you can skip the test and continue or we can create and continue and as you can see uh, it posts the tweet right away here and we can see the even the picture and you can see uh, uh, the Twitter account showing up here so yeah this should be working just fine for you guys and if it worked out for you you can just hit finish you can name the Z, uh, the Zap or the Zapier bot, uh, whatever you want to call it. I'm just going to call it Trility Twitter handle. My Zap is going to be on, and what we'll do is check your my Twitter account uh, every 15 seconds. So uh, that should be just fine and we can click see on your dashboard and it should be here so we're pretty much at the end of this tutorial i hope you guys liked it don't forget to follow me on or subscribe to me on youtube and follow me on twitter follow trility on twitter don't forget to check out my discord server link is in the description uh zapier is going to be in the description as well so you don't necessarily have to type it in and uh, don't forget to check out my other tutorials there's one for for the sinus bot for, which is a music bot for discord and the just some bots music bot uh, is there as well and yeah thank you for watching and see you guys next time